in part one of this series, making a Monopoly game, I created this uh, vintage microphone and the, the board. And we'll do some more work on, on the board and materials and stuff like that. But it's time to get back into modeling uh, the game pieces. I think what I'll do first, though, is I, I will take the camera and uh, the sun. I've switched it to a sun for now. I'm going to move those uh, to the second layer there. So I've got, uh, on the first layer, I should have all of this stuff. I think that's on the first layer, yeah. I'm going to switch to uh, another layer and shift C to move the 3D cursor back there. Look from the front, and we're going to make another game piece. I'm going to make a model of an atom. Okay, so I'm going to go shift A, mesh, circle. Um, I think I'll go for 20 vertices. Rotate X 90 and let's go into edit mode and let's scale this in the X make it real sort of elliptical like that Okay E and Alt S Give it some width select it E and extrude out like this um, at this point, let's put on a subdivision surface and see what we get. So we got that. Let's throw some edge loops along the front and along the back. So we get that. All right, let's try that. Let's take that shifty, rotate Y60. All right, let's take that again, shifty, rotate Y60 minus to get that. Okay. Shift A mesh UV sphere. Let's lower this down to like um, 16 and I don't know, eight. Scale it down to make the electrons. Let's put a subdivision surface and smooth. Let's see if I can get away with this one. It might be too big. Let's grab it and put it there. And I'll center it up. Let's take everything. everything and move it back to roughly central okay so I got one electron there shift D and I bring another electron down there shift D another electron up here and here and we'll go here electrons in each orbit looks good and then let's do shift a let's bring in a plane we'll make a stand scale out the X let's try that uh, let's bring it down and scale it out Let's do subdivision surface on that. <clears throat> Give it some edge loops. Scale in the X. I don't want them too tight. And let's do here. Scale in the Y. I think I need one down here. Let's just try that with smoothing. I'll, use, I'll go I will go with one more up here but these ones and scale them in a little bit more let's just see what that's looking like I could probably get rid of that bottom too and just assume it's just welded to there Uh, 
control plus X faces. Let's try that and see how it would work. Let's, um, those would be rather sharp edges. I don't think I want to get rid of that bottom face. I think I want a little bit of roundness there. So let's take the whole thing in control G to make it a group and scale it down. I'm going to move this back to the first layer where I've got my board. change it to that color so I'm just gonna put that on uh, and these here now can I choose the group and put the material on or maybe I can do this control L materials and that'll be faster I'm just hoping those aren't too thin so you could make them a little wider if you wanted to let's hit the lights look through the camera and just have a look at that well like I say you could make them a little thicker and I think I I might do that uh, but otherwise um, that would be that piece uh, shift G group I could really take this in the Z a little bit we just have another, another look at that from that point of view cool well We've got a model of the atom.